Welcome to our video which will show you how to set up and carry out the GCSE required practical investigating the factors that affect the resistance of an electrical circuit. Today we're going to be using components from our BEK GCSE kit. The first activity we will be looking at is how resistance is affected by the length of a wire. We'll be using the following equipment. A bench power supply. In this case we're using the bench power unit by Unilab, which is a general purpose 13 volt power supply. 4 mm connecting leads. Crocodile clips. Constantan wire. Multimeters. Alternatively you can use a digital voltmeter and ammeter. BEK resistors and a meter rule. Cut a one meter length of constantan wire, leaving a little extra at each end in order to be able to attach a crocodile clip. Then sellotape the wire to the meter rule. Place two crocodile clips on the length of wire, one at the zero end of the ruler, and this will stay in the same place throughout the experiment. Place the second crocodile clip at the hundred centimeter end of the ruler. This will be the traveling crocodile clip. Connect the rest of the circuit as per this diagram. Remember always to connect the ammeter in series with the wire and the voltmeter in parallel around the resistance ruler. To use the multimeter as an ammeter, select DC current and connect the 4mm leads to the 5 amps and the COM input. To connect the multimeter as a voltmeter, Select DC voltage and connect the 4mm lead to the V and COM input. Set the power supply to 6 volts and switch on. Students should record the current from the reading on the ammeter and the potential difference, voltage, from the voltmeter and record these in a suitable table. With the power supply turned off, move the travelling crocodile clip to the 90 cm mark. Switch the power supply back on and record the readings from the ammeter and voltmeter. Repeat this process at 10 cm intervals until you're down to the minimum length of 10 cm. Using the equation R equals V divided by I, where R equals resistance and V is potential difference or voltage and I is the current, work out the resistance of the wire along the one meter length. Plot a graph of resistance against length for the resistance of the wire. Your result should look something like this. Your result should show that the longer the piece of wire, the higher the resistance of the wire. The straight line of the graph shows that resistance of a wire is directly proportional to the length. The second part of this activity is looking at how the position of resistors in a circuit affects resistance. For this experiment, we'll be using a bench power supply. Again, this time we're using the bench power unit by Unilab. Four millimeter connecting leads multimeters, and again you could use a digital voltmeter and ammeter, two BEK resistors of unknown values. For the first circuit, we're going to place one resistor in a simple circuit. Remember, the ammeter is connected in series with the resistor, and the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the resistor. Set the voltage on the power supply to 6 volts and turn the power supply on and record the current reading on the ammeter and the potential difference or voltage on the voltmeter. Make a note of the readings. You could use a table similar to this one. Connect the second resistor in a simple circuit and turn the power supply on. Take the readings from the ammeter and the voltmeter and again record your results. You could use a table like this to record your results. Using the equation R equals V divided by I, where R is the resistance, V is the potential difference or voltage, and I is the current, work out the resistance of resistors 1 and 2. Arrange the resistors in series with each other as follows. Make sure the power supply is still set to 6 volts and turn the power supply on and take notes of the readings on the ammeter and voltmeter. Determine the total resistance of the resistors when they are connected in a series circuit. 
The next step is to connect the resistors in parallel to each other, as follows. Again, record the values of the readings on the ammeter and voltmeter and calculate the total resistance of both the resistors when they're connected in parallel. Your results should show that when resistors are connected in series, the resistance of the circuit is equal to the sum of the two resistors. When they're connected in parallel, the total resistance is less than the value of either resistor. We hope you've enjoyed this practical advice. For expert technical help, please contact the Philip Harris technical team at techsupport at philipharris.co.uk or visit our blog at philipharris.co.uk. Dot co.uk